Hey guys, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Hope you're all doing well. Cold, rainy day here. Sitting on the porch, having a stogie. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video to discuss something strange that I've noticed on eBay that's been happening. And I wanted to talk through it a little bit. There have been a lot of sellers who have been selling packs that have been kicked back as being altered by PSA. And that means, essentially, Steve Hart has looked at the pack and determined that the pack has been resealed or tampered with in some way. And so what happens is when you send a pack to PSA to get slabbed, it goes to PSA, then it goes to Steve Hart in Indiana, and he has to determine that the pack is authentic before they'll assign it a grade, right? They're obviously not going to grade a pack that isn't authentic. And I've noticed a lot of sellers, uh, including some that I know that are, that are generally, they're, uh, they're, they're honest guys. They're selling packs that PSA has kicked back as being altered, and they're providing the sl the the flip uh, because PSA will say "do not hold or altered" or, or some some language like that when they reject a pack, right? So they send the pack back with this little flip to let you know, yeah, you know this this pack is is no good, and so sellers are selling packs that Steve Hart is deemed to be altered, and so they're being transparent about the fact that they're selling a fraudulent item, right? And so if you're being transparent about your ab about the fact that you're selling an item that isn't authentic, does that make it right? I mean, that's still a problem to me. I wouldn't I wouldn't knowingly sell a resealed pack ever, even if I was transparent about it. Hey, I think this pack's been resealed. I'm not sure what the logic is here for these sellers. Why would you do this? Why not just eat maybe it's just the simple desire to avoid eating the fees or, you know, or eating, eating the cost of the pack, right? Well, I spent $150 on this pack and it turned out to be resealed. I guess I can't, you know, I need to do something with it. Maybe someone on eBay will buy it and open it. Or, you know, maybe, maybe PSA made a mistake and PSA has made mistakes, right? If Steve Hart isn't hundred percent sure he kicks the pack back, he doesn't, he says, do not holder it, right? There have been bad packs slabbed by PSA in the past. There have been good packs that have been not slabbed, right? Mistakes do happen on both sides. But ultimately, just the logic here of, of trying to sell a pack that has been deemed to be altered by PSA is very confusing to me. But there have been dozens and dozens and dozens of these packs on eBay in the last several months. So it's a phenomenon that is really starting to pick up. Uh, and it's just, it's a curious phenomenon to me. It's very curious, you know. Um, and maybe, and maybe it is just as simple as someone trying to recoup the cost. You know, maybe it's that simple. But to me, I would not. I would, once a pack's deemed to be altered, you, you, being transparent about it on eBay isn't necessarily beneficial. I mean, you're still selling a, a pack that's tampered with, right? So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know your thoughts below. Hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. Keep collecting vintage, keep collecting vintage and open baseball, and I'll be back with a mail day tomorrow. You don't want to miss it.